How to create an interesting presentation. An interesting presentation by Joseph Dewey. First, start with a joke. Add a funny joke. Knock knock jokes are funny, but be careful that they're not too funny or people will keep retelling the joke during your presentation. Here's a good example of an opening joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Dwayne. Dwayne who? Dwayne the bathtub I'm drowning. Add pictures. A picture is worth a thousand words, but a picture and a thousand words are worth a lot more than just a picture. So if you add pictures, then also add a lot of text and make sure that you talk about your pictures a lot. For example, these pictures are very interesting yet mysterious. They provoke many questions such as, who are these people? Also, I could probably say a thousand words about just the picture frames. And then I could keep talking about the interesting people inside the frames, too. Use transitions and animations. One of the best things about PowerPoint is that there are a lot of ways to make regular text transform into exciting text. Often adding transitions to your presentation can be much more exciting than adding actual content to your presentation. So use transitions and animations liberally and don't forget them. Add a beach. You probably think that this beach is exciting and my presentation is exciting. Because of this slide, you can have the best of both worlds. We're almost done. A few minutes into your presentation, and well before you're almost done, then add a slide claiming that you're almost done. Don't just read the slides. Often reading the slides can put people to sleep or be boring. In fact, scientists have done studies that have found that if you listen to someone reading something that also appears in print in front of you, then you become very angry or you fall asleep. So make sure that you leave some words out of your presentation so that when you're giving your presentation that you appear spontaneous and exciting. A little spontaneity can go a long way, especially because people often expect presentations to be dry and boring and so you're likely to surprise people if you add some information that's not on the slides. 
Tell a story about how nervous you are. Everyone can relate to being nervous because everyone is nervous to give a presentation. And so you should tell a long detailed story about your nervousness. For example, when I first decided to give this presentation, I was nervous. I worried that my microphone wouldn't work and I worried that people wouldn't finish all of the way through my presentation. In fact, I became even more worried when I told a friend about this presentation and then he changed the subject. But I decided to conquer my fears and I finally made this presentation. Add money. Even if your presentation isn't about money, then money is very interesting and will help people focus on what you're saying. Remember the 888 rule. If you ate all your food, then stop the presentation. Picture eight people naked. Don't focus on what you hate. This rule can really help to make your presentations great. Add a woman in a swimsuit. Even if the rest of your presentation is boring and people forget everything else about your presentation, then they will remember the woman in the swimsuit. Also, if people have to sit through your presentation twice, then they won't mind so much. Thank you to everyone. Before you finish, then make sure you thank everyone. I want to thank my mother, my brother Ramsey, my Aunt Gertrude, my friend Bob, my teacher Mr. Jones, my teacher Mrs. Esplin, my boss, my great aunt, my neighbor, my Thai teacher, my other Thai teacher, and a lot more people who have helped me to make this presentation. Finish. Make sure to have a finished slide so that people don't see that you're playing Minesweeper on your desktop. Okay, this one is really the end.